I'm a ballerina. Whoa. Hi, guys. Hello. Keto meal prep. Yep. It's the first one I ever did. We decided that it's a new year and we've been doing all these things that we've never done before. And you guys always ask us about keto. And we have so much more of an open mind now that we thought we've been curious about it. Let's do it with a totally open mind. Then we can share it with you guys everything, our whole experience, what our opinion is on it. Do it from a completely open mind. And we're ready for a change. This will be super cool to eat foods that we normally don't eat. And we're like super excited about it. And the other really cool thing is that we didn't have to measure anything in this meal prep. We just made everything, we didn't weigh it, and we're just eating intuitively as we want throughout the day. So this meal prep was so cool, we just cooked it all, put it in the containers, and we're just gonna pull from the containers as we go throughout the week. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it, you can do it, don't give up. And that is so cool for us to be able to just trust ourselves and know that we can pull out what we need from the container and not what we want, not what we need to not medicate ourselves with food, but actually eat the food we need. So that is super cool. And also, Kyle and I have been eating carbs and drinking coffee and stuff like that for a very long time. Having We've, artificial sweeteners through diet pop or through um, just artificial sweeteners through syrup and that kind of stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, even, even chewable vitamin C has a lot of artificial sweeteners and stuff. So we decided it would be a cool detox for us as well. We recently changed from having a cheat day to just eating more during the week and then having whatever we need on the weekend, whether we just keep eating the same or have a relaxed day. You guys got to see one of that, those videos released recently. It's been amazing. We've been losing weight. So when we decided to do this, it wasn't actually for weight loss because we've been losing weight. We're like, no, let's just, and we literally just decided like last night, hey, let's do keto. So we went out, we, <laughs> we walked to the grocery store, we carried the groceries home, we've been cooking pretty much all day, and here we are, and first day of keto. That's another big thing. We want to not just, you know, tell you guys to be inspired. We want to actually show you that we're changing with you. Like literally, like Nicole said last night, we're like, hey, you want to try keto? And we, we went out and got groceries, did the meal prep. We're like, you know what? Let's be human experiments and try it out. Yeah, so this is the keto experiment. Welcome to it. And we wanted to film, we wanted to film our grocery haul for you. So we filmed that and we're gonna be filming a full day of eating for you as well. And we wanted you to see everything. So you're going along the whole experience with us. It's going to be a short experience, a short experiment, but we wanted to do it not only for you guys, so we can help you when you're asking us questions about keto, but also for us. And for us to be able to just go, hey, let's do keto like that, Kyle and I do not make quick decisions like that. Our old selves did the, not make yes, quick decisions. The new selves, the new us, the new 2019 versions of ourselves make quick decisions like that all the time. And we're always telling you guys to evolve and we're always telling you that this is not just a diet, this is a, a lifestyle, this is a journey. And so throughout the journey, we're trying different ways of eating. And we, we encourage you guys to find things that work for you too, and to love the whole journey, not just the end game, not just the end goal. And for us, there is no end goal. It's a constant life and journey of new goals all the time. And we know that this will really help actually kind of hit a reset button and um, get our you know insulin sensitivity back. Yeah. Um, not that we were losing it, but it's just nice to do a refresh and to just yeah. you know, I, start fresh. I think it will allow our body to absorb when we reintroduce carbs. It will allow our body to bring that food straight to the muscles and help us shape our bodies a lot faster. I think the coffee will work better for us in our pre-workout. Everything we take in after this, I think it's going to work even better because we haven't detoxed from that stuff in a long time. So this is like 
an experiment, detox, doing this for you, all kinds of cool stuff. So let's show you the food, because you're probably like, Nicole, shut up and just show me the food. So here we go. <laughs> uh, so this is like, and it really feels like we were cooking for cheat day. We've got some natural sausage, and there were four in a package. There are no carbs and sugar in that. So we just picked the sausage with the best macros, basically with no carbs, no sugar. Uh, we Nicole sliced them, baked them in the oven for a bit. And I baked them at 400 for 25 minutes and they look lovely. Yep. Then we did the bacon. This is natural, naturally smoked bacon. Just normal, you know, full fat bacon. bacon. And we baked it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15, 20 yeah, minutes. 15 ish. We just kept an eye on it. And till it, till it was golden and, and it, looked crunchy. If you want the best tasting bacon, you have to bake it you in the oven. Bake the bacon. Yes. Double B. Bake the bacon. My Nana did it that way and that's how you make it taste the best. And Nana knows. <laughs> you bake the bacon. Yes. Then we got some lean ground beef. In Canada, it's very hard to find, well where we live anyway, it's very hard to find full fat ground beef. So we bought lean ground beef and we made our own burgers. And we just yep. made two bags worth and we're gonna freeze one and eat from the other one in the fridge until it's done. And we didn't measure, I just took out like a handful, made some patties. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, top of the oven in a frying pan and just got them, you know, uh, nice and crispy on each side and that's it. Yeah. Veggies, these are frozen broccoli and cauliflower. I just threw them in a pot and boiled them until they were heated through. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. Put one container in the fridge and eat out of that one, freeze the other one to keep it fresh. Then what we have here, I cleaned, we have a lot more romaine lettuce in the fridge, but I cleaned and chopped up some for Caesar salads. We like to store them like this with a paper towel in a bag too. It just absorbs, I find, it absorbs the excess moisture if you didn't dry your lettuce fully. And then I store it sort of like this so it's airtight. That way it doesn't get the, the brown and it doesn't go bad really fast. And I'm only doing it one of those three packs at a time so that our lettuce lasts longer. I find it lasts longer when, that, when you do that. And in here, we've got some raw broccoli all washed and cleaned and chopped so that we can just pull from that and have veggies and dip. And um, we just ran out of containers otherwise. It would be in a container. <laughs> then. When you decide to live life on the fly, sometimes you run out of containers. Yeah, shall we tell the friends what we did? That, so the friends, yesterday we were meal prepping for our normal week. So we have an entire week of food for the other diet that, for the other like meal plan that we eat. And we're like, at the end of that, we're like, hey, you wanna do keto and meal prep again tomorrow? So we have no meal prep containers because it's all taken up with our other food. And we put them all in the freezer, so that's where they are. Oh, and the bonus is we won't have to prep next week or whenever we go back on our uh, normal diet. Um, so, Yep, there you go. That's why we have no containers. <laughs> and we've got some chicken legs here. These were on sale. And so we just bought a couple packages. Kyle's got just some, was it just some salt and pepper you threw on there, That's right? That's it, yep. Baked it at um, 425 for 45 minutes. 45. And then we turned on the broiler to get that skin. Crispy them up. Extra crispy. And the great thing is you can eat the skin on keto, so. I know, I'm excited. And then got a couple other things here. You guys know that uh, unless you're new to our channel, Kyle and I love easy things like frozen veggies, pre-packaged snacks like this, cheese strings, anything that's already pretty much prepped for you, we love that kind of stuff. So we've got some pepperoni sticks and we've got some cheese strings. For snacks. For snacks. And that is it for the prep. However, stay tuned, keep those Peepers peeled because we will be doing a full day of eating and you will get to see how we utilize this stuff and how we eat it. And we've already been doing eating it today and I can tell you, you're gonna love it because I do. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so that's it. If you guys have any questions or like, um, tell us if you've done keto before, what your favorite thing to eat on keto is because maybe it'll give us some more ideas. That's it.
do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on yeah. this little experiment. Yeah, so we are, we always like to do what we, we practice what we preach basically and we always tell you guys you've got to constantly evolve you have to change your thinking in order to keep this weight loss fitness journey going and that's what we do we're constantly evolving and so when we say that you know this is what we did we do it still all the time evolving challenge ourselves get out of our comfort zones fight through that anxiety telling you that you need to stay who you are and stuck. Yeah, so let's get it this week, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe a lot. What? You got real high pitched there for a second. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> this is the sausage, not sausage, the bacon dog ears of doom. I thought you were going for antlers again, but I was going to but I, ch I changed it up. I, I was evolving <laughs> See those those are puppy ears. Those are puppy ears. I call those pumpkins. <laughs> I got my hands on it Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye guys <laughs>